Brady, what are you doing? Go show him. Brady. Brady, go go over there. And he's he's holding it in his mouth as he walks. What are you doing, buddy? You already took it off once. What are you doing in there? Oh, he's, like he's, a... he's biting it. Brady. I guess that's his home now. I live here. Special boy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What are y'all doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I feel like I'm reporting something. So, this is it. <laughs> yeah, so if you actually see back here, right here, this was all just a thick grove of cactus, like all of this, all the way underneath these trees, uh, pretty much everything around here. And so, uh, it's already dried out a little bit. The hardest thing about cactus is you can't burn it really right away, or you can maybe throw diesel on it or something, but uh, it's so wet inside of it that you have to wait for it to dry out. And so that's really what we're just waiting on to get rid of it, but most of the work is done. I'm actually going in and cutting out the roots of each cactus with uh, something my uh, great-grandfather gave me, which is this nice little axe right here. I'm, I'm beating it to, to hell, but yeah. It has like a little fork on the end, or not a fork, but you know what I mean, like a little uh, hook on the end of it. So you cut into it with like the axe part of it, and then you actually pull it into the piles from that. But it's uh, actually from the railroad. So what? yeah, pretty cool. That's cool. Yeah, and I can, I've used it in ways that I didn't think I could. Usually I, I, I break things that I buy from the store in the way that I'm using this thing and it's holding up. Oh yeah, we cleared all the way into there already, like way back into there. And we're actually gonna go around the whole property, uh, which the whole property is like seven plus acres or around seven acres, something like that. Pretty close to seven acres. But we're just doing the outside area and it's more for a fire break in case there is a fire because there has been a fire off that way once before and we were afraid that it was actually gonna come this way, which it, there's a chance and then we just got lucky because Bastrop, which is another city nearby, just had a bad fire, like real bad fire, and they already had the planes on the ground. They just ordered it over here, and we were, we were saved. Just in case that happens again, we're doing a fire break, also a running trail, <laughs> however you want to look at it. We also have our trash bag in the tree. <laughs> That's a new addition. Yeah. It got real windy. This is all being cleared for a specific reason. This is all going to be uh, septic, I think. I'm pretty sure. I think it's either going to be septic or septic right over here. And then our field's gonna be back off that way. We already picked out a couple of points for it to possibly be, and we cleared those areas. And now we just need to get someone to come out and do it. Cause I don't is think that, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing that part. Is that step one? Uh, step one is getting the plans. I can run through the first steps, I guess. Step one is getting plans finalized. That's this Tuesday. And then uh, we take those plans, get a budget. And once we have our budget down, and then we can take that budget and go get a, uh, like a, it's not a home improvement loan, but it's something like that. It's, it's basically equity off of a home equity loan or some, some kind of loan, basically, uh, to finalize or, you know, finish out the project. Uh, we also have some liquidity. So uh, we're going to take all of that and make it into a house. But, yeah, those are the first couple of steps, uh, just getting everything uh, in place to be able to start making the purchases and uh, moving forward with uh, getting the containers on the ground, which I can show where the containers are going to be. So don't trip over this cat vomit right here. It's our flag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should probably take that down. <laughs> do we salute it? What do we do? Uh, so we have this little tree, which will probably end up coming down. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with the tree. Maybe just trim those two bottom ones. But the uh, containers are going to be angled kind of at, at this angle. So they're not going to be like directly on. They're going to be kind of like at an angle right here. So it's going to be one container here, 40 foot, coming all the way until like right about here. I think somewhere right around here, we're still trying to figure that out. And then there's going to be a living area, about 20 square feet in the middle, with another container on that side. So right over there. And so yeah, this will be our home. And that one's... 
That one's 20 foot. That so one's yeah, it'll be double that right here. And then that one's gonna move over there. We're gonna do that all at the same time. This is it, it's a little flat area and we're just gonna put some pylons up. So the pylons have to happen right before we bring in the, the containers. Once the containers come in, then we frame. We do the pylons. Yeah, it's just, uh, we're gonna do it with potentially just some sack concrete, so. Like this week? Uh, hopefully we have to get the plans first. So the plans come and then we'll know where to actually place the pylons. Plans Tuesday. Plans Tuesday. Pylons probably this weekend, maybe. It all depends on weather and people. We can show the backyard. <laughs> no, well, this will be the front yard because front yard is usually the one facing the street, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that'll be front front yard. This would actually be where, kind of like right here, would be our back door, probably right here somewhere. And this would be our deck right here. Yeah, this would probably be like our deck area right here. And so you'd basically walk out on the deck and then see this giant tree right here, which is pretty cool. And we cleared everything out underneath it. We're gonna prune some of the branches right here a little bit. I think we actually got most of it. Can you hear me? <laughs> Once we uh, we finish all of this, if I still have nothing to do, like we're still waiting to finalize plans and stuff, and I have some more energy in me, do some stuff down back here. Uh, there's actually some down trees that I need to take care of. It's just kind of like a burning hazard, you know, stuff like that. So how, how many hours do you think you've spent so far? doing all this I don't know behind the scenes <laughs> I have no idea just this part yeah I don't know a long time. probably a good 15 days or so For some beers. Hey. I'm over here now <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the wind's so bad there's yeah but yeah there's our sneak peek right yeah you're gonna be so backlit all right I think that's gonna be it okay we'll talk about Waco in a little bit. yeah we'll talk about Waco next <laughs> Where's the wind coming from? Uh, <laughs> Almost hit a rock and broke. Give it to me. Tuck it in your oh, it's fine. <laughs> there you go. That's for you now. Good 15 days or so. A <laughs> couple hours a day. <laughs> I don't know where to go. <laughs> well, we don't have a name for it yet. <laughs> From Wyatt Manor. I don't know. No, no, no. We'll, we'll find it out and then I'll start saying something like that. We'll do like.